Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. Now, the content that I've got for you this morning, please send out because you are going to love this. The Second Amendment supporting House members, that whole weaponization of government subcommittee that we've been hitting on for a couple of days, well, it turns out the Democrats and the media must have just discovered it because they are freaking out as Freedom Caucus members are coming back with a vengeance. You guys are going to love this and everything is linked in the description box below. Now, if you are a new or returning viewer, please consider giving this video a like, hitting that subscribe button, and turning the notification bell on. We need as many people as we can to get in the fold, in the trenches with us, so we can pass the blessing of the Second Amendment along to the next generation by doing things just like this video right here. And the sponsor of the video is The Second Press. Now, I founded The Second Press because, quite honestly, I'm sick of the status quo. We're going to change the gun culture perspective in this nation. We're going to hold members of, of Congress accountable, and we are going to drive the blessing of the Second Amendment along to the next generation. And that's what this is all about. Now, we are creating original, shareable, Pro2A articles, narrating podcasts, founding multiple YouTube channels, and offering exclusive content with your favorite 2A creators on Substack. Please support us by joining our website for free. It's linked in the description block, box, and thank you so much in advance for checking it out. It's right down there. But my brothers and sisters, we have got to get into this, and I am amped because one of the things that we picked up early on this channel, and you guys can leave in the comments if you remember when we did this about a week to two weeks ago, the Committee of Weaponization of Government Against American Citizens. That was huge, massive. I even said, if this comes to fruition, we're going to follow it like a bloodhound, and it turns out that it did, and the Democrats and the media are just now discovering it and aligning the wagons because they are freaking out. Jim Jordan's going to chair it. Thomas Massey is going to be on it. Those are two freedom-loving, Second Amendment-supporting Americans directly tied to your Second Amendment rights. Let's get it. Here's the first article. GOP's weaponization panel would have power to review those uh, probing Trump. Now, they're trying to frame it on a Trump perspective. It's not about Trump. It's about the overreach of the federal government against United States citizens. Check this out. But this is, It's interesting to see how the media is angling this. The GOP is preparing to hammer agencies reviewing the conduct of former President Trump with a new select subcommittee poised to focus on the weaponization of the federal government. The panel is being drawn up to take aim at ongoing investigations at the Department of Justice and the FBI on Trump, including the taking of classified documents to Mar-a-Lago and the former president's conduct leading up to the blah, 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 blah. Do you see what they're doing? Don't look at all the things that they're going to look at. Don't look at all the concepts that they're going to focus on. Look at only Trump, Trump. Ooh, look, be scared. Bear, it's Trump. That's what they're doing. They're trying to reframe this to be an anti-Trump or pro-Trump situation. Nothing to do with him. What it's looking at is the infringements of executive bureaucracies like the ATF and the DOJ and the FBI that are going against everyday Americans, which we have seen multiple cases of. They are freaking out. Let's keep going. I got a lot to share with you. I don't want to waste too much time on my comments. This subcommittee, including under the umbrella of the House Judiciary Committee, is expected to be helmed by Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan, a combative ally of Trump. Okay, Jim Jordan has also sent letters to the ATF saying you are usurping the power of Congress. You are going beyond the scope of the Gun Control Act of 1968. This is massive. It's hard to overstate how important this is for us. Jordan has recently sent more than 100 letters to the two agencies ahead of his own expected probes, complaining the FBI has ridiculed conservative Americans. That's because they have. Anyway, let's keep going. Democrats see the subcommittee as a landing spot for conservative propaganda. Judiciary ranking member Jerry Nadler, high-waisted fiend, called it a reckless partisan exercise fueled by conspiracy theories. Must have missed the last two years where we covered Jerry Nadler talking about assault weapons ban and being trapped multiple times by Dan Bishop around the common use argument of ARs when he was trying to ban them. Anyway, don't worry. David Cicilline's about to make an appearance as well because that's a peach. All right, here's the second article. House GOP eyes new committee to pro-weaponization of federal government. The panel, expected to be led by Representative Jim Jordan, would have far-reaching authority and be empowered to investigate ongoing criminal investigations. Democrats are pushing back. Oh yeah, keep pushing back because lining the wagons, circling those bad boys because they are in trouble. Check this out. The new panel, structured as a subcommittee of the Judiciary Committee, is expected to be chaired by Rep Representative Jim Jordan, according to a source familiar with the matter, with subpoena power. This is the teeth. With subpoena power, it will be tasked with investigating law enforcement agencies as part of a mandate to probe the weaponization of the federal government. 
Everyone in the comments, tell me if we need or don't need this one. We absolutely need this, and Jim Jordan is a bulldog on this stuff. All right, I got two more quotes for you. One from David Cicilline, the guy who literally said on camera in a committee, I spare me the BS about your constitutional rights on a gun control committee about the assault weapons ban, 1808. Absolutely happened. I've got videos to prove it. Representative David Cicilline, Democrat Rhode Island, a Judiciary Committee member, nicknamed the panel the MAGA Grievance Subcommittee. In an interview, he said it foreshadows an incessant effort by Republicans to investigate and pretend to be doing oversight when they're just trying to obstruct the progress of the administration on behalf of the American people. Oh, was that flowery. If the progress of the administration is to infringe upon people's rights in the United States outside of their purview, they should be obstructed. In fact, they should be investigated and they should also be held to account. But, you know, I'm just a guy on YouTube. Anyway, let's get into this because this is the cherry on top. For those Second Amendment loving supporters out there, Representative Thomas Massey, Republican Kentucky, said he will serve on the new weaponization committee. Members of the committee will be formally named after the House passes the resolution. That is so key because Thomas Massey is on the 2A caucus. He is an ardent 2A supporter. I, well, withdraw that statement. He is extremely pro 2A. When you've got Jim Jordan chairing it, writing letters to the ATF saying you're stepping out of bounds on the 1968 Gun Control Act, you have Thomas Massey, who is a 2A ardent supporter, also on the committee. This is going to be something to watch, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think in the comments below.